Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen and I'm going to show you how to make a red wine and chocolate cake. So this is an actual cake recipe and not just decorating it, but I'm going to show you most of it anyway. I didn't have a sifter. I'm supposed to be sifting all these ingredients, so I made something that I thought was terribly clever on my own. So that's two cups of flour, three quarters of a cup of dark cocoa powder, then you're going to add two teaspoons of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, all into your colander if you don't have a sifter. And then I tried different things. As you can see, I tried tapping it, I tried shaking it, and it didn't work. I tried stirring it, but this that I'm doing right here worked so well. I'm just using my wooden spatula thing and just kind of banging on the bottom of the colander. And it really sifted everything really well. And it worked great, so I just wanted to share that with you. If you guys don't have one, just use a colander, because most people will, ha will be making pasta at some time in their life, and they'll own one of these. So yeah, there you go. I just kept on tapping it, and yeah, it only took a few minutes. It worked great. I was very happy with it. All right, take your mixture, add two cups of sugar to it, and then I just stirred it together a little bit just to kind of mix it up for some reason, because it just made me feel better that it was mixed. And then I'm going to put it into my mixing bowl. I have just, you know, regular old kitchen made that I use for these things. And I started mixing away. See it? Mixing the dry ingredients. Now you add two eggs to your dry stuff. And this is kind of backwards uh, from regular recipes. This is a cup of buttermilk. I did not have buttermilk and I couldn't find the buttermilk in the store I went to, so I had to make my own. It was a cup of regular milk with, I think, a tablespoon of uh, lemon juice, and that let it sit for like, you know, five minutes or so, and that'll do it. So then after that, I added a cup of red wine. That's my red wine right there. I just used a nice sweet red dessert wine. And then I added the last part, which was one cup of vegetable oil. And you notice all my different bowls and everything. I thought I was so fancy measuring out the ingredients. Oh, I totally lied to you guys. A teaspoon of vanilla. That was the last part there. Now when you grease your pans, if you decide to use this recipe and you grease your pans, I'm just using some Crisco there. And you have to add parchment paper to it. I tried flouring it. I tried Crisco and flour. I tried just Crisco. It stuck like crazy, so you have to have parchment paper on the bottom. I am saving you guys, so we appreciate this. There was a lot of time involved and in going out to buy more wine because I killed the cake by it sticking to the pan. Okay, anyway, back to my jam. We got fond or excuse me, gum paste going here. And I'm using a big rose leaf pattern and just cutting out some some leaves. And if you don't have a leaf pattern, if you have a circle, make a circle, make it into an oval rough up the edge a little bit, and there you go. I also have a, a veining or a leaf veining, I don't know, imprint that I use to make lines on the leaves. If you don't have that, get comfy with your, your knife because you're gonna be marking it up. Now, like I said, these are rose leaves and grape leaves do not look like rose leaves. They have three segments and kind of look like that, so that's what I did. I used a knife, cut two little slits, and then pulled them apart. Now I'm adding a little bit of green food coloring and water and just kind of washing over it all to make it a little more shiny. It settles in the veins that are imprinted a bit and makes it look a little nicer. Like I said, a little more shiny or glossy. They have a glossy finish. And I'm also using a pearl mist, an edible pearl spray. I got it at Walmart and I did it lightly over everything because I wanted it to kind of look a little more shimmery and <laughs> make it look a little, I don't know, just a little different, a little more special and shiny. And because it made it very shiny, I added a little more green <laughs> to it to bring the color back out again. So once you're happy with your colors and your shapes and everything like that, you take your cake. Um, this I covered in r uh, red wine buttercream icing, which is just powdered sugar, softened butter, and instead of using cream, I used red wine and it was fabulous. But anyway, you uh, cover the cake in fondant, do whatever you need to do, <laughs> use whatever icing you got going on, and then take your leaves and just start laying them around the edges. 
I went around the base. It was two layers, so you're going to see it at the end that uh, has leaves around both of the layers as well as on the top. This is just some vines that I made. I took brown and green gum paste, rolled it together, and then just started cutting forks and splits into it um, just to make kind of grapevine look for it. And when I attach it to the cake, you're going to see in a moment, just when you attach it to, I attached it with water, but I also um, made sure to turn it and twist it a lot to make it more, more like grapevines, how they're very, I don't know, coiled, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So yeah, as you can see, I'm still cutting little nooks and crannies out of it to make it as forked and branched as I could. And yeah, there you go. You see I'm just twisting it up. Yeah, I'm using water to make it stick. It was a pain in the butt because it didn't want to stick very well, but I was not taking no for an answer, so I made it work. So yeah, there you go. I'm just, this is just the idea of what I had going on. Like I said, I did it with both layers, so it came out really nice. And that was yeah, pretty much all I did for this cake. The only decorations I really did. So you can see here, there you go, there's the effect of it twisting and twirling its way around the cake. Like I said, not a lot of decorations on this. The grapes, I just went out and bought a bag of Concord grapes. I used the cork from the wine, and I let a couple of the grape leaves harden, and there you go. Set it up with a glass of wine on top, and you've got a very pretty cake, and it was delicious. Okay, let me just tell you. So, hopefully you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos, and I will have the recipes underneath. I'll see you all next time. Bye!